Well, she's one of Australia's most celebrated performers with a career spanning 25 years, but she only looks 25, so I don't know how that I works. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Kate Sobrano has, has released a brand new album full of original tunes. Original tunes, 20, 20. so there's 10 years in the making. Oh, yeah. Between originals, is that yeah, what we say? Yeah, it is. That's a long time. Well, it is. But you've I mean, been pretty consistent. I've been working them. in between. Look, I had a kid, you know. Obviously, that you've got to give Gypsy. yourself a bit of time for that. And in and around that, I did all the funny things like Dancing with the Stars mm -hmm. and hosting this show. Actually, one or two occasions. And yep. um, you, they're now working as an artistic director too. Oh, look at my baby. Oh, She's so cute. She's beautiful. She is a, a great person. Loving being a mum. So, Kate, how do you juggle being a mum to Gypsy and getting a new album together? Like, how do you make it work? Well, first of all, I've got to say, um, and it's a big, you know, call out to Sony because Dennis Hanlon, as you would know, David, you shared the label with me. The chairman. They, he's the chairman, and he said, you know what? You're a singer-songwriter. All your hits have been written by yourself. How about we just do an originals record? I nearly died. It's just unprecedented. In this day and age, it really? is. Really? And also for a woman of un certain âge, which oh. we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> there's a show in that title. Yeah, there, there's totally. I could bang that title so hard. You have no idea. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I think that it, it's to his credit and, and I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm actually, I, I get to do things on my own terms, like the artwork. I employed some great friends of mine, Billie Jean's Not My Lover, who... I love that name. Is, and I love that cover. I just, it's beautiful. I love working with these artists. I love creating new elements of videos and everything. Uh, s small track listing here, like just the best song. Like, not over, yeah. you know, a lot of people have like 15, 16, 17 songs, trying to get value for money. So, no, these are the songs. This is the album. Seems old school to me. It is kind of old school, actually. Ross Fraser, who um, is my A and R, and is you know he's he's a very yeah, disciplined. Mate. He's a disciplined mate, he you know. He and I worked on the Superstar Records with Doug Brady a long time ago. Um, we only had a short period of time, actually, in between doing other things. Like South Pacific came in and had a month, and we had to sit in the studio. We had to write, we had to perform it, we had to record it all at the same time. And then I mixed the vocals back home here later with a good friend of mine, Steve Scanlon. Oh yes, Steve. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, the Oracle. <laughs> the Oracle. And I had a chance to actually get my hands into it and actually into production and explore the sound of my own voice. So I actually took more responsibility for a lot more of the album this time. Kate, just going back to Gypsy, has she shown any interest in music? Is, oh, she, she's is she musically oh, gifted? She's, she's theatrical. She's theatrical, is she? Oh, yeah. Yeah, did you see her come down to breakfast during the festival as no. Katy Perry? No. She had the, <laughs> did she? <laughs> and then she said to Meow Meow and those guys, oh, no photographs, please, no photographs. Oh, <laughs> it was amazing. So, yeah, she's definitely got a character. I don't know, Dave, I think um, you might appreciate this. You don't want to superimpose your desires across your children. Mm. You know, obviously we'd all want them to succeed us. But mm. at the same time, I think it'd be awful if... If you went that direction and it wasn't kind of working for you or igniting as, as say it did for you folks, mm. like that would be quite awkward. So mm. I want her to look into all sorts of things. Yes. You had a successful a Cabaret out. Festival this year. It was fantastic. Lisa and I went down for it. It was brilliant again. Um, another big year next year? It'll be my, my last and biggest year, hopefully. But uh, can I just say thank you too? Because David was also the artistic director oh, before no, myself. No. And it's all no, yours now, honey. Well, yeah, no, fine. but what's Don't worry happened? about me. Oh, it's so, I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. No, oh, oh, so you can have your own, own festival too. No, it's called the Big Brother I Festival. I've got my own festival. Oh, yeah, well, you are. Wants her own festival. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, looking after the Big Brother, I think that will be like having your own it festival. It is a bit. You'll be bringing in all the artists, all the acts. We saw you perform this morning in a tour. I'm touring. Great. So I'll be touring this album. Uh, we'll be touring it possibly all through October, right across the country, which is fantastic. Um, Brilliant. Get out amongst it again. Uh, depending on the budget, I may be drumming for myself, which would be a bit fun. <laughs> Well, you know, you know, you, know, you know what you look like. We love you and Australia loves you. You've got oh, to go get yeah, the Kate Sopranos. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. Coming up, we've got Jennifer Lawrence.